Today's video is all about a solution that we've got, which is targeted at boat builders rather than individual boat owners. And it's based all around multifunction displays. So multifunction displays have grown from being something where you have purely navigation related uh, items, plotters, radar, etc., to a tool that allows you to integrate lots of other functions on the boat. So it becomes an, a screen for all systems. So the communication protocol for these apps is uh, HTML5, which is effectively a web browser, and all of this is achieved over the Ethernet network on the vessel. And uh, in this particular example we've got on the desktop here, we've just got a simple little switch that is allowing us to connect the multifunction display, the Victron Serbo, so one of the products that we see here uh, as a, uh, on, the, on the list, and our mini PC. So if you go to the apps page on your MFD, any products that have this ability to be controlled and to broadcast their data will have an icon allow you to access their particular browser or their page and control and monitor the devices uh, that exist for that particular product brand. So we can see here on this Raymarine Axiom display that there's a number of products that are there uh, ready to be integrated with. We've got SeaKeeper for stabilizer systems, uh, we've got Victron uh, for uh, power electronics, and there are things like Lumashore um, for underwater lighting, for instance. The HTML5 app on the screen here actually gets two kinds of data over the network. It gets HTML5 data, which is the graphical element, and then there's MQTT, which is the data element. All of that has been transmitted over the network. So that works really well. It allows you to bring all of those things onto one screen, uh, but through various separate apps that you have to navigate between. So our product sits on the network. It's a piece of software living on this PC, and it's able to sniff all of the data that is uh, being transmitted over the network from all of the products that are connected. We can take all of that data and we can aggregate it. We can perform calculations on it we can apply logic to it. We then take all of that data and the outputs from any processing we've done on it, and that's then broadcast on our app and available on the MFD. And when I say our app, what I really mean is your app, because although in this example it's got our logo and our name on it, uh, for a boat builder we can do a custom variant of it. So it will appear with the boat builder's logo, the boat builder's name, and bring all of that information together in one button that is specifically for that particular vessel. So let's have a quick look at just a very simple example. So in this example, we've got some data which is coming directly from the Victron Servo, and then we also have some Modbus data which we are combining with it and displaying it on the same page. And that Modbus data is coming from a PLC on the system. So the Victron Direct data is the inverter charger control and shore power limits, just some sort of fairly simple stuff there. But then we've got some IO for automating a generator control, and we've got some tank data, which is coming in through a analog input on the PLC. So this drawing shows the basic structure of a standard system with a multifunction display, some HTML5 enabled products, uh, one of which is the Victron Servo. And in its standard format, that would mean you'd access the Seakeeper via the Seakeeper button, the Lumashore from the Lumashore button, and the Victron information from the Victron button. But if we change this to a version with our little mini PC running our software on it, we can now see the additional sources of data that we can bring together and show under this new app that we are making available on the MFD. So the drawing shows here a couple of Modbus items. One of them is an air conditioning system with a Modbus TCP output, and also a PLC that might be controlling things like garage doors or a ship's alarm system, etc. That Modbus data that is being transmitted over the network will be seen by the servo, and we can then extract that information over MQTT and bring it into our PC. In addition, the servo is able to collect data from other networks. One example would be we can pick up Enemy A2000 data using a VE CAN to Enemy A2000 adapter. So anything that exists on the Enemy A2000 network 
is also available to us. And then finally, we have third-party products, non-Victron products, that also could connect directly in on the CAN port on the servo. So perhaps a third-party battery system, for instance. So what we're now seeing is that we can collect data from products that have got the HTML5 functionality directly, such as Lumishore and Victron, but also through the power of the servo, we can access Modbus data, Enemy A2000 data, and third-party CAN data. So what that means is we can access all of this data, bring it together into a single app, branded as the Boat Builders app, and with custom graphics. Ignore these graphics, you can have it exactly as you want, and you can bring together all of that information that is residing on the Ethernet network on the vessel, but also Enemy A2000, CAN, etc. So clearly this isn't a product, but a project, but one we would love to engage with you on. So just email us at sales at energy-solutions.co.uk and we can start a dialogue as to how we can bring together all of the information for your vessel into one branded app on your multifunction display. Mm -hmm.